Georgie here, live from Allendale's trading floor. It is February 17th, 2011. A lot of movement here today. Dollar was down. Uh, dollar was actually down uh, about uh, about 22, 23 cents. Went testing that $78 area, uh, currently sitting uh, 78.05. But you look at these grains, you look at basically everything here today. We're going to start with the grains. Corn was up 22 and a quarter cents. Big day for corn. Uh, new highs in corn. You had the March contract settle at 712 and three quarters. The old highs were 710, settling into new highs. March, uh, there too, 615 and a quarter, settling into new highs there as well. Very strong day for corn. Uh, beans, up 38 and a half cents, strong day there as well. After seeing uh, a significant setback here over the last week, we saw a big day today, uh, and, and 38 and a half cents puts us back above uh, that $14 area on beans. So we found a recovery, just as the emotion over the last few days and, and grains in general, uh, extremely negative. A lot of guys calling me saying, "Hey, what are we? Where are we going? Is this the top? Is the top in?" You found a panic. That pushed these markets lower. Here today, it did recover pretty well. Yes, fundamentals uh, have changed a little bit in the beans, and you need to keep that in mind. But with corn up 22, the wheat market rallied today 13 and three quarter cents. These beans are going to follow as well. We still have an acre ba acreage batter, battle that we need to go through. Uh, funds today, they were buyers of 15,000 contracts of corn. Over the last few days, we actually have seen a you know, we've seen them sellers of, of 4,000, 5,000 contracts one day. Uh, the day that we were sharply lower, we've seen them, you know, we were down about 10,000 contracts. Well, they bought everything back today. Up, you know, increased their positions, 15,000 contracts. The wheat, they were up 4,000. And as I mentioned in beans, beans up 10,000 contracts today for the funds. That's a big, that's a big change. So on more of a side note, uh, we do have option expiration tomorrow. So where are we going to gravitate toward? A lot of times you see these funds, they try to shift, uh, they try to shift the market to where most of the options are going to expire worthless. I don't know if that will be the case here tomorrow, but if you just look at that, you're looking at, uh, you're looking at that $7 area in corn. We're at seven twelve and three quarters. We're above that with a strong close. But $7 is where it would expire the most worthless. For beans, right near 14 we're right. We're close to that now. If we just have a quiet day tomorrow and we sit around 14, there is a, a huge number of puts and calls right there near 14 bucks uh, on the March beans. So that would expire the most of them worthless there. So kind of keep that in mind. A lot of today's action was more inflationary. Uh, dollars down, buy it. The attitude of the markets that we need to just go up. We went down and we hit solid support for corn, beans, and wheat. So we've now we've now rallied from that. Uh, and once that once that rally had started, it was just I mean it was fueled to the fire. The market just ended up continuing to rally, and just the flow of the markets pushed it higher into new highs for corn. That was strong. Um, so the overall bullishness right now is what's carrying this thing. Crude oil today up a dollar forty. Um, you've got talks out there that Iran is sending uh, some of their uh, their, their ships uh, down through the Suez Canal, some of their warships through the Suez Canal. We don't know what that's going to start, but you've got a lot of political unrest going on over there in that Middle Eastern area. So crude oil jumping up today uh, did break above some resistance there for that March contract. Uh, first notice day on March here, though, is next week, so be careful with that. But 86.40. So is this going to be the push that we need to see crude oil and energy take off? As of right now, that's the excuse that they are using. Uh, the dollar being down as well, as I mentioned earlier. Dollar down about 22 to 23 cents today, sitting near 78. If we see a push and a close down below 78, we could see further selling in the dollar, which in turn will support commodities. Uh, another one, metals today. You had gold up 10 bucks. Very solid day for gold, strong day. Uh, silver up over a dollar. Big day for silver. That's new highs in the silver, putting in near 3175. So that's a big day for silver. Gold is still well off of its highs. But silver just made some new highs. So watch that gold. We're up against a good, uh, a moving average right above us here. Uh, if we do jump up above that 50-day, we may end up seeing some buying come into gold. Now that silver's made new highs, what are we going to do with it? So keep keep an eye on that. Soft market's relatively mixed. Sugar down 50 points. 
but cotton. Cotton is the talk of the sugar or of the softs. Cotton again up seven cents today. Big move for cotton. That's limit. Limit yesterday. Limit again today. Now why is it so special today? We jumped above two dollars a pound. That's huge. This is all time highs for cotton. Um, you also had uh, the exchange went ahead and shut down and they halted option trading for cotton indefinitely right now, not just for the day. They're indefinitely for now. So until they tell us otherwise, that's uh, this market is uh, is is crazy. The industry calls it this market is parabolic. It is straight up right now. Be very careful with cotton, uh, cocoa and coffee higher. Those are those are mostly uh, uh, grown in those areas here where we've got a lot of this unrest uh, out there in Africa, northern parts of Africa. Um, so we had them stronger today too. A lot of uncertainty of what's going to happen. So keep that in mind. A lot of emotion is pressing these markets higher. So be careful, mostly in that cotton. I can't warn you enough. Uh, as far as livestock, fat cattle up a buck today. Uh, we had feeders that were up only 20 cents. Over the last week, it's been the absolute reverse. Feeders were up a dollar, two dollars, and fat cattle may be up a little bit. But you had fat cattle make some new highs in their nearby contracts. You had it spread unwinding. Guys that were buying feed or selling fats, they were coming out of that here today. Not only that, um, you, know, you look off the news wires here, they're saying uh, that we've got U.S. bids here near 106. you got feedlots wanting 109 to 110. Uh, we do have, uh, that is, should be supportive here as well, and we certainly had seen that. Uh, hogs, hogs have been, uh, we've seen some pretty big ranges in hogs over the last few days. Up a couple dollars to down a couple dollars. Well, today, unchanged to 20 higher is where we settled it. So it is a little bit higher, but right now you've got us consolidating a little bit in these hogs. We've got some very good prices out there. Um, you know, there's a lot of opportunity in these hogs, so keep that in mind. But uh, a lot of this stuff will be covered in our research here tonight. Make sure you take a look at that on our website. Um, you've got the research center just to the left there on our, our web page. Uh, if you do not have access to that, give us a call. We've got some pricing right now that's very favorable, favorable for you. We'll get you set up there. You can get a lot of this information right there daily. So uh, take a look at that on the website, uh, allendale-inc.com, and feel free to call us at any time at 800-262-7538. Hope you guys had a great day today. Have a great rest of the week. Take care.